unforced. And that one right there, just a, a travel happens the best of us. See Davis, see if he can get it going right away. From Golston, that's off target, and the rebound comes out to McAdoo for the Titans. Here's Davis again. Hits another. You know, I've got two boys that maybe I'll have the chance to coach someday. You never know, but they're only 8 5, so we've got some time. But the opportunity. <laughs> oh, you got Davis! The game right on, right on cue on defense. Great deflection going down the other way. Antoine did not attend our production meeting, but it certainly helps. And Davis <laughs> hits a three. That's as crazy as that sounds. Just an unbelievable feat. And to be able to see it on video today was just, I'm still just mesmerized by it. Another three. It's. <laughs> well, left. So you got to dig in. You wouldn't think they're going to shoot 90% for the rest of the game. Maybe, Maybe he is. Though. I don't know. Maybe Pat Baldwin today after their shoot around. It, he goes, it's the unfortunate thing. Great pass there by Antoine Davis. Panthers in that first half unable to convert there. But if you're Milwaukee, you got to do it on the defense fence. They've done a good job. First couple possessions. And Davis for three in the foul. <laughs> is that an announcer's jinx? <laughs> Hey, at least this time it was you and not me. Normally, I'm the one that provides the jinx. Very true, very true. More than Antoine Davis with a chance at the uh, not very often four-point play, but, you know, it's... I guess you could say you got to play better defense right there. Maybe have your hand... He's off that, and he has a big day. Well, it's like when you, you talk about the game plan going inside out or starting with your guards. I mean, if you start inside, outside opens up. Antoine... Got to shake my head and smile, even though you can't see it because of my mask. I got, I got to shake my head and smile because he, he's something special. He, he really is, and it's hard to explain, but he just does a very good job with this Oakland team. Waterman fires a three, and he knocks it down. He'll be a, a flat-out offensive weapon. He sure will. He, he's long and lanky, and, and so it makes it difficult for people to block his shot. Long three, Anthony Davis. And that's, that's, that's a smart guard mentality. Uh, you know, I'm just a stupid big, and I would have hammered it. Well, that's true. Top of the key <laughs> three from Davis, rattled through again. That's very important. 120 left on the clock here. We'll see how U of D kind of breaks down the Oakland defense or, or if Oakland can stand strong here. Cool at the top. Antoine Davis from the bear head, and it's perfect, and you knew he's so fired up. That's the same call that they made just a minute ago on Trey Townsend, and he didn't get it for Jalen Moore. Antoine Davis threw a double team. His floater is per teams have. And, and I, was, I was really taken aback that he would reach out and ask that question as... Waterman sends that shot back, and here comes Antoine Davis the other way. Oladapo wants to win, man. Yeah. He wants to win. Make no mistake. That's his singular objective. And I was I was impressed, man, because you don't see that a lot. No. And, and I think the, the big thing with Dan Oladapo is he, he's a quiet leader. He'll go out there and he'll, show, he'll do it by deed. He's not going to do it by using his voice and being vocal. But, yeah, you have to, I mean, you have to have more than one or able to, be that quick, throw it high off the glass, and touch nothing but net. This becomes a big possession now for Detroit Mercy with 12.25 left. Davis around his defender. His shot rattles and falls. Got a very. I mean, you want to say it's shooter's touch, but I mean, these guys are, are just that good. 55 54 Detroit. Full cool at the elbow. Left corner, Frazier. Antoine Davis in the corner. Tough shot, and he gets it to go. Pushing his guys, we got to get a stop. Let's go, wake up, play some defense. Antoine Davis, he rattles a three. Knocking shots down because he's getting good looks. And Jalen Moore slices through. He gets to the rim, can't get the layup to go this time. Frazier with the board. Detroit Mercy with a four-point lead and the ball. Full cool steps into the three. He buried for Detroit Mercy. And that's a tough shot because nobody was in position to try to rebound for Oakland if there was a miss. That shot is perfect for Oakland now. Well, they're, they're going to be all big possessions last 10 minutes. Rashad for three. That's off the front rim. And Matt Johnson with the board. Waterman. This time we'll put it on the floor. Out past him. Let He, he, he let Bokul recover. Stopped. Bokul went. Flying by, little turnaround, knockdown jumper. That was a sick move. Here's Antoine Davis. That's a good candidate to go to. That shot was part and points, not far from that. And that's that might not seem like a whole lot as we see. Q Patton takes a three from the top, no good. Now Javon Eichelberger has that one knocked away, and now Davis will come back with it. Davis for three. 
Swish. A lot of credit. Yes. He was spot on. He was. Davis. Crossover and a three. Another quick three there for Cleveland State. How many Valentine's Day references do you think you're going to have tonight? That's only one. I thought that we would get one earlier than this. You know, I just, I tried to slyly sneak that one in, but I've worked with you long enough now, David, that I can't really sneak anything by you. Let's stay. Oh, David, that I can't really sneak anything by you. But yes, there will be others. We, we have had years with Loud and Love on Valentine's Day, and I can't help myself. <laughs> Here's Davis for three for the top, and that one's of eight from the field in the second half, and all of a sudden Cleveland State finding its offensive rhythm, getting those transition baskets. And now we'll see what Detroit Mercy responds with. There's Antoine Davis hits the tough jet by Wendy's, and you see the Big Ten players that are all part of the wooden watch. It just shows you how tough the Big Ten has been this year. It really is. Every year that conference is obviously extremely difficult. And the, the amazing thing about that is there's no you know, Michigan State from there because they're obviously having a down. on defense. He has been a one-man show in that time. A great play to find Gomillion and Cleveland State. I didn't think I'd say it, but they are tied up in this ballgame. Detroit Mercy hasn't had a field goal in almost eight minutes. Now Davis, the fallaway jumper is good. Got 11. Tied back up at 65. Cleveland State's done a great job, a great adjustment they've made. They're not keeping the guy in the corner the entire possession. Once the ball gets moving, those guys in the corner are cutting towards the basket behind the zone, and they've done a great job of finding them. It's about the third or fourth easy layup they've gotten here in the second half off of that action. There's Frazier, hands off to Davis. Antoine stops, fades, and hits. Pretty much in his own defense right now. Davis fades away, got that separation, and it was killer again. Detroit. He do the same thing for for Wright State. His head coach says, "Hey, he's one quietly one of the better defenders in the league, and I think you could say the same for Willie as well. Not going to rack up those steals and blocks most of the time. Davis for three. Matt Johnson out there with Harvey, Isiani, Waterman, and Davis. Harvey, confident dribbling in between his legs, ball on a string, got it to Davis." Five to shoot, Antoine from the free throw line. Wow, he's off to a great ski and Holden. Holden has it in the corner, fades it off the side. Waterman got a piece and LeGreer finished it off. Guards are getting inside. There's LeGreer with a rebound. Davis. Wow. A lot of weapons on this Titans team. It's just a matter of getting them all playing together. Holden had one spin off, gets his own offensive board, and McAdoo goes through the trees to rip it down. Waterman stuck behind the play as he catches up now. McAdoo looking for Davis. No space there. Calvin all over him. Now Antoine catches. He has 10 points already. Make it 12. Boy, is that looking good tonight. That one hit the backboard pretty hard. Under a minute to go. Just a couple possessions left here in this first half. The Titans condensed to wind down some time. Why not? They have a comfortable lead right now, 36-22. Reverse glancer and one. Davis lost to handle on that one. Great pass, Isiani. What a dime. So much here in the second half. They're looking to get inside of the zone. But Isiani with a great backdoor cut pass to Antoine. Willie hesitates. Back off for Davis from deep. Wow. <laughs> Waterman as well. Two on Harvey, McAdoo, and Coca. I don't think that was on Waterman. He's out right now, so he went against somebody else. 59-41. Uh, Have to check that. Yeah, they just took him out, so I don't know who they call a foul on. Davis back for McAdoo now. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Antoine from the corner. Back for that time. Titans got to be able to figure this press out. Calvin with nine. You know, we haven't seen a lot of transition buckets in this game either. Both teams have been coming down, getting into their offense and running plays. 
Davis drives baseline. Whoa. The Midnight Blue and Gold. We talked about Antoine Davis in the open, a 2,000-point scorer already. We'll see if Kevin McAdoo could be a facilitator for him. His dad is Detroit Mercy's all-time floor work. Again, driving lanes get a little bit bigger, and you get driving kick opportunities on the perimeter. Seth Milner left alone off the inbound pass, and the catch rips it out of the air. Toledo yet to make a three. There weren't too many times last year in which Toledo didn't have a made three at the first media time. Moss for the Rockets as well. Raheem Moss, a guy who's just got that junkyard dog mentality. He was such a difference maker, albeit on the bench last year when obviously there were no fans inside America's college basketball. Shot Davis, his first of the night swish. Got there as a catch took it strong to the hoop, but he was swatted away by, by Cameron Davis. Here's Coca. Now, Madut, a catch on the baseline. Stopped by Hamilton. There's Davis, catch and shoot, and he nails it. Two nothing, Detroit Mercy with the early lead here. TJ Harvey. Played sparingly versus Purdue Fort Wayne. Just the pacing. Wanted other personnel in there. Matt Johnson off for Davis. Catch and shoot. He rips it. He puts a body into him now. 
And Song, tight area, got it stripped. Johnson comes up with it for Detroit Mercy here. Davis backs up from the free throw line. He has five and had the back problems. He didn't miss any games there, just kind of knocked in the back. Games a couple games ago as Davis knocks down a Hughes into the front court here. Quick catch and shoot. Tucker won't fall, and McAdoo pulls it home. Detroit Mercy trying to continue this hot start. Davis has been a big reason why. Uh, he caught the ball inside the lane that time and was able to explode and throw it down. Averaging 11 a game. Certainly has been taking on a bigger role this year. As head coach talked about how he's more of a focal point on the scouting report this time around. Some of the guys transferring. Davis shuttering one through. And in midair is Harvey. Detroit Mercy trying to push and extend this lead once again. Davis rising up. Bingo! And the lead down to 10 for Detroit Mercy. 12 is the highest it's been. McAdoo, Davis, Harvey, Legreer, and I catch. Davis again. Davis. Wayne, they shot 75% against the Titans in the first half. Well, that was a offense performance they put on here, a clinic in the first half of the basketball game. Kind of just shake your head. Davis rising up. Green Bay shaking their head. So you cave. Use that shoulder a whole lot underneath the basket. That could very well have been an offensive foul the way he ducked in. Davis bounces off the contact. He's having this year. Jenkins with a catch and shoot falls short. Matt Johnson able to pull it down. Davis again. Boy, he's some kind of fire. So play continues, and Johnson is good to go. That's the second lightning taping we've seen in the last couple of games for Detroit Mercy. You have to cover the blood up. Into Davis, attacks like that for the first time. Off for Kellogg. They're staying with his bigger lineup to start this second half. Disrupted, Harvey and Coca, each with those swatting hands. Davis, one way then the other. Boy, he's locked in. I don't know with Green Bay, they just not sending a, the right amount of players at Davis. Usually we see two or three people in all kind of different defenses designed to stop him. Pretty much been letting him have his way here. <laughs> and what was a 13 point lead at six minutes? A catch and Waterman double, and it causes McAdoo to steal. Quickly to Antoine Davis. He's going to drive all the way home and score. Corton gives the ball to Antoine Davis. Davis at the center circle now. Heads to the far sideline against Bohannon. To the left baseline, right to the basket, laid it in. Johnson will put it in play. 6'4", senior out of Baltimore, Maryland. From the right baseline. Gets it out to Davis with 10 to shoot. Out front on Hunter to the top of the lane. Step back, 4-3, good. With that, the Penguins, Alex Vargo, far corner three. Skids across the basket, now to Bull Quall. He'll race it along the near sideline into the forecourt, scoop it back to Davis. Spins to the foul line, 15-footer up and in. Nope, they just want to reset this thing. All right, ball goes into Davis near sideline. Out to Isiani, got it back to Davis with 10 to shoot. Top of the lane, left wing, 4-3, good. Well, Hannon rings up his first two points today with Youngstown State now trailing 21-17. Nine minutes to go in the first half. Davis out front. Into the circle, shy of the foul line against Bohannon. Going to spin to the left of the lane. Fade away, 12-footers, perfect. Lead from Nas Bohannon. That led to a dunk. This leads to a nice little drop-in off the glass. And Will Dunn now with five points in the game. Coming in, he'd only averaged two and a half points against Division I opposition, but ten points against non-D1s as Antoine Davis. He'll now run by Hunter. Clear the ball to Quoll, far sideline. Open three off the back of the rim. Rebound, volleyballed over to Frazier. Left of the lane, will clear it out to Davis. All alone, out front for three, perfect. Unforced. And that one right there, just a, a travel happens the best of us. See Davis, see if he can get it going right away. The health and safety protocol. So Waterman gets the start. Three try from Golston. That's off target, and the rebound comes out to McAdoo for the Titans. Here's Davis again. 
hits another three. What that experience was like having your dad as the coach. Yeah, I can certainly relate to the player side of it. You know, I've got two boys that maybe I'll have the chance to coach someday. You never know, but they're only 8-5, so we've got some time. But <laughs> the opportunity. Uh, oh, you Davis. The second unit for the Panthers. And that one knocked away by Davis. <laughs> the man of the first six minutes of the game, right on, right on cue on defense. Great deflection going down the other way. Antoine did not attend our production meeting, but it certainly helps. And Davis gets it through. For the world that could probably accomplish that, as crazy as that sounds. Just an unbelievable feat. And to be able to see it on video today was just, I'm still just mesmerized by it. Another three. It's good again. It's very easy to settle on shooting a lot of perimeter jump shots. And that time, Milwaukee did a good job. Didn't settle. Got the ball inside where they have a size advantage. We'll see if they continue to pound the ball inside to St. Pierre. There's a catch finding Waterman on the baseline. Trying to throw it out to Davis. It gets to him. And Davis hits a jump. Long rebound comes out to Matt Johnson. Davis trying to get through St. Pierre. Fall away jumper. As well as Antoine Davis has obviously started this game. Just look at how well Detroit has played. There's still almost 30 minutes of basketball left. So you got to dig in. You wouldn't think you're going to shoot 90% for the rest of the game. Maybe, Maybe he is. Though. I don't know. Maybe he's storm. In the corner, here's Newby, and misses a three there. It was three for three in the first half. Yeah, Donovan Newby was pretty much the only bright spot offensively for the Panthers in that first half, unable to convert there. But if you're Milwaukee, you got to do it on the defensive end. They've done a good job, first couple possessions. And Davis for three. When a team's shooting the ball like this, it's it just, you know, sometimes you got to shake your head, tip your cap, and say, hey, job well done. <laughs> Detroit Mercy shooting almost 56%. McAdoo the kick out, Isiani for three from the wing, that won't go. McAdoo the rebound between multiple Panthers, and now Davis for three, and he hits. Todd <laughs> Phillips for the all-time scoring lead at Detroit Mercy. As crazy as this sounds, I, I really did think it was a little bit of a long shot before the game started. There it is! A great start, offensive end, 11-0 run here. Not even four minutes gone by. Davis looking for something, buries it. Finally, guys the same size and everybody can shoot. LeGreer off for Harvey. It's Harvey Coca, LeGreer, Davis. Along with McAdoo out there right now for Detroit Mercy. Davis behind his back. Looks out for Kevin. Five to shoot. Another behind the back pass. Davis rips it. But Davis is going to have to work for everything he get. They're going to see different looks. But Pipkins can do it. Godfrey can do it. Jojo Peterson can do it off the bench. Pretty impressive. All of them can handle the ball. All of them can pass, can handle. And they've all been playing together for quite a while. Davis, nothing but the net. They're going to need every bit of Davis scoring. 13, four rebounds, four assists, and three steals for Jared Godfrey. What a line. Under a minute to play now, Isiani. Back off, deep three, Davis in front of the Purdue Ford. Wayne Bench, he buries it. Titans him, making an attempt to cut. E fading one away for Pipkins. No one nearly put that in the Purdue Fort Wayne bucket. But Davis finally surrounds the basketball. The crowd buzzing around him. Antoine dangling, shooting, scoring. Nice little runner to get it on the inside right now. And Detroit's finally finding a way here today. Mm -hmm. Davis. Got it! I tell you, they, they, they need that. Sure, you play close attention to him. Davis all the way home and scores! Finding people. Did so there, but Davis hits just the bottom of the net. Here comes Fraser with a tucking ball to Antoine. Hand in his face and he drilled it. Because uh, you have to be in those guys' face. 25-14 now. And maybe that opens the points off turnovers tells the story. 14 to 3. Green Bay. Bench point 16 nothing. Green Bay as well. Davis with a deep wide open three. Drains it. Up right there. And Green Bay was fortunate to get that shot underneath the basket. Titans have had some big stops on the trap so far this year. Frazier looks for an Isiani screen. Davis got open and makes some pick. Right on target with that, right off the front of the rim. 
Despite their good run, the Titans have not scored in the last minute 45 of game action. Still an 11 to two run over the last five minutes. Antoine will try to dribble off as much time as possible here. Leads all scorers with 13. Two on the shot clock, juggles it up and in. You gotta find other ways to get the ball in the basket. 46% overall so far, they shot 52% before things were said and done in the first half. And Davis commits, played 24 yesterday, scored 11. One touch pass, didn't work. Picked off here by Detroit Mercy. Somebody's got to score, right? Davis to the cup, counted at one. Now Davis on the left wing. He had 35 points last night. He was 11 of 11 at the free throw line. Out top against Patton. Works it to the left wing, back to the center, steps to the left. 17-foot jumper is right there. In the early going. Johnson looking to inbound, gets the man-to-man, -man, throws it dangerously to Davis. He makes the catch in front of Hodge, throws it out to Quall. Back to Davis, left wing. He's open for three. Up it goes. It's right there. Would have been a tough one. Detroit Mercy with the basketball. They lead it 7-0. They're looking for their seventh straight win here tonight. So they take on the Cleveland State Vikings. In the front court on the dribble, Matt Johnson. Now Davis against Gomillion. Vikings in the man-to-man. -man. We'll use different defenders on Davis tonight. Davis out top, gets a switch to Patton. Pulls up, fires the triple. Good. Antoine Davis for the block. Davis with nine on the shot clock, the inbound. He'll send it out top to Johnson. Makes the catch on the left wing. Sideline up to Davis. Five to shoot against Spider Johnson. Drives baseline, steps back, in trouble. Spinning shot with one to shoot, and he got all net. Big Al has his first two. It's a two-point game. 25-23. 4.25 to go in the first half. Davis on the left wing near the hash. Works it to the sideline and back out against Oglesby. Dribbles in. Going to fade from 15. Right there. Antoine Dell. Down low to Brandon. Brandon in the lane. Turnaround shot. Blocked by Spider Johnson. But came to Isiani. Gives to Davis in the corner. Three-pointer is up and good. Boy, Antoine. Alec Oglesby work on defense as he shows you there. He's a good three-point shooter, but takes a lot of pride in his defense. Davis. Against Oglesby, drives down the lane, got to the rack, scores the layup. Seven luck Oglesby with a Viking high 13. He's four of six from the field tonight, a perfect three of three behind the arc. And Cleveland State, their largest lead of 10, 53-43, 11-10 left. But don't think you've heard the end of these Detroit Mercy Titans. They've been on a hot streak. They've been shooting the basketball extremely well this past month, month and a half. Davis out top. Davis on the drive. Davis down the lane. Scores the runner. So it's Hill, Bodwan, Oglesby, Spider Johnson, and Patton for Cleveland State. Davis, Quall, Matt Johnson, Brandon, and Waterman for Detroit Mercy. Davis going to pull up from the free throw line and drain the Detroit Mercy. Here come the Titans into the forecourt. Now Davis, right wing, going to jack the three and bury it. Got to get on him quicker than that. And the so Agora will check back in for the Penguins. Hunter will sit down with that. Davis catches the inbound pass. Near corner three rattles through. Not a clean. He had only been shooting 24.5% from out there. But that gives him eight points in YSU to within two. And when Akuche is feeling it, boy, that game elevates. Antoine Davis, no stranger to coming back. Covington will work to the lane. On the run, flipped it up, no good. Bohannon tried to grab the miss, could not do so. Cleared by Noah Waterman as he hands it to Antoine Davis. Davis into the forecourt. Picked up by Akuche, got by him, throws up the floater and scored. And is running around ticks, around double screens. It's amazing to watch, Rob. He takes the inbounds pass, goes around a screen of Chris Brandon, who just checked in. Davis now right away throws up the fadeaway and put it in from seven feet away. And nonetheless, Antoine Davis will inbound it from a left baseline. Throws it out to Dwayne Rose Jr., hands it right back to Davis. Davis out front on Hunter, into the lane, to the basket, scooped it up and in. Able to work his way to Davis. Game tied at 64. Davis into the forecourt now. Hunter on him. Left to the lane, to the basket. Scores off the glass. Antoine Davis in the game now. They brought Brandon in for rebounding purposes. Last year, the junior out of Houston had 10 or more rebounds 11 times. 
That's why head coach Mike Davis has him on the floor right now. Long jumper for Davis out front. Perfect. I thought he was... Never